This man had an adverse reaction to an antiretroviral drug used to delay the onset of AIDS. He panicked, he says, when a rash turned his body red. What worries experts is that such reactions force patients to stop treatment, creating the risk that they will develop resistance to the most effective and affordable HIV drug. In Thailand, Mahidan University's Wasun Chantratit studies DNA samples of HIV patients with adverse reactions to the antiretroviral drugs, or ARVs. ARVs put pressure on the virus when taken as scheduled, but easing that pressure by pausing treatment means resistant cells may be able to replicate faster. Wasun says missing just two or three treatments can cause resistance. The resistant one, it happened, it means that the medication no longer can control the virus. Thailand has a very low resistance rate of about 2 percent, compared with 10 percent in some other countries. Laura Birmingham is the World Health Organization representative here. But it's very important because you have 216,000 people on medicine. And if we, we would like to keep them on that first line regimen as long as possible, uh, not only for their own sake, it's a simpler regimen to take, um, but also for, of course, the cost implications. Thailand, like some other countries, manufactures generic versions of ARVs. That enables the government to provide free ARV treatment using the so-called first-line drugs at a cost of about $450 a year per patient. If, if they are all resist to the first-line regimen, then we have to use a second line, which is uh, cost more than two or uh, nine times higher than right now. Thai health professionals recently sought help from international experts on stemming adverse reactions and resistance to keep affordable generics useful for a longer time. Professor Chan Yuan Song of Taiwan's Academica Sinica helped discover DNA markers that can tell if a person will develop an adverse reaction. We are different, and some patient is more sensitive to one particular drug than others, and this is because of genetic makeup. And once you, you, you figure out what is a really genetic makeup, then you can do the screening. Screening patients' DNA enables doctors to avoid prescribing drugs that will cause a reaction. Technicians at Mahidan University are testing a small device that can detect sensitivity to an ARV. They hope to bring this screening technology to hospitals and clinics in the Thai countryside. For producer Prosla Put, this is Kate Pound Dawson, VOA News, Bangkok.